In this video, we are going to create Lambda scheduler in CDK using Java. We will create an event bridge rule that will run our Lambda function every one minute. I will use my existing repository which already has the code to write a Lambda function and deploy using CDK. I have uh, created a complete tutorial on that also. So you can go and check that. I will provide the link in description below. Let me give you the code walkthrough first and then we can extend that code to write event bridge rule. Let's go to the IntelliJ now. So this is the project that we created, Lambda CDK example. You can see in the POM we have two modules. One is functions which contains the Java code for our Lambda function and another is infra. So this infra was created using CDK and you can see here we have these two modules and if I go inside my functions module we have just hello world lambda java class and we are just getting the input as a name and returning the output. This module has its own pom.xml which actually create a package in the form of jar file. So in infra stack we are just creating one lambda function and that's it. You can see the configuration that we have already created. This is a git repository lambda cdk example having the same code here. I will give the link in description also for this. I have mirrored this repository so that we don't have to write the same thing again and again. And if I go to repositories, I have this lambda scheduler which I created. So this has the same code. Now I'll just go to IntelliJ and start writing the code for our scheduler. So this is a new project that I created with the same code. So in functions, if I go to SRC, we have this hello world lambda. I will just remove this request handler because we don't want to pass any string. We just want to see our lambda is getting invoked every one minute by the event bridge. So I will remove this and remove this extra code here. So I've used local date time dot now to fetch the time at which lambda is invoked. I'm using system dot out here, but this is not the recommended practice. I, this is for the example sake. You should implement a logger or you should use the context dot get logger in the actual production scenarios. I will remove the extra imports. So this is my Java code. I'll go to terminal and build this module. So let me go inside functions here. And I'll call MVN clean package. This will actually create a new assets directory here. So if I refresh this, yeah, you can see we have this assets directory function.jar. So this function.jar is output of this functions module when we run MVN clean package. And how this is coming? So if I go to pom.xml of functions, so what we are doing is we are using maven shade plugin here and the configuration here is the final name of our jar file would be function and the output directory is one directory above and then asset. This has created assets folder here and inside that function.jar. So this function.jar is being used inside CDK. So if I go inside CDK and this is our infra stack. So if you see here when we are writing lambda function in CDK, we need to give the path of our code assets. So here we have given the path as one step above and then into the assets directory and function.jar. If you want more details on this, you can watch my previous video. Now our code changes are done. What we will next do is we will add a new rule here. For creating a rule, you have to call rule. You can see here in the events and you have to call rule dot builder okay now dot create so here you have to pass the current scope here i can give the id as lambda scheduler now after this you have to give the name of the rule so i will call rule dot name we can name this rule as uh, lambda rule here we have two options now. So if you have worked in event bridge, we do have two options to invoke our event. So first is event pattern to invoke our event based on some input pattern. Another thing is to schedule our event. 
so we will be choosing this schedule option and if you want to see in the ui i can just go to console to show you this if i go to event bridge here so if you click on create rule so here you can see that we have two options the rule type can be an event pattern or schedule so we would be choosing schedule here see we have two options here so rate and cron you can give expression also for the cron so i would be choosing rate here because i want my lambda to run at a fixed rate of one minute then you can call duration and you can choose between minutes days and hours i will choose minutes here and pass the value as one so this is it at the end you have to call build here and if you are not sure what we have done here let me go back to the AWS console so let's say if I give this name as test and if I choose schedule here and if I go to next so you can see that we have the two options here schedule pattern so this is expression here a cron expression and this is the fixed rate which we have chosen so I have done like this in my code one value here and then minute so to run our lambda every one minute I hope this is clear so rule is created now the next thing is to associate this rule with this lambda function and how we can do that we can call rule dot add target you can see that in the first method we have to pass i rule target let's just first assign the function value to a local object here okay now this function we can add as a target to this rule but if you go inside this target you can see that this accepts type of i rule target okay and if i try to just pass the function here so this will give us error so what is the error so this expect i rule target and we have provided the function and to fix this issue we have one adapter class lambda function so we will be using that and inside lambda function constructor we can pass function here so if i go inside lambda function this lambda function implements i rule target okay so this is a kind of adapter which we have yeah this is the only code that we have to write so when you are calling rule dot add target so this will automatically create a i am role because ultimately rule has to call the lambda function so this event bridge rule has to have the necessary permission to invoke lambda function so this invoke function permission would be added automatically when you call this method here so we have associated this rule with the lambda function so this is the only code that we need so what we can do here now is we can just go to the infra module here and we can call cdk deploy So it's success now. I'll go to the AWS console. Let's go back to the rules. Now you can see that this is the Lambda rule that we created and the status is enabled. And if I go and open this, you can see the fixed rate of one minute in the event schedule. And the targets, if I go, you can see hello world Lambda. And let me just open that. Yeah, you can see the source as event bridge and Let's just go to monitor and uh, open the CloudWatch logs. So we have already one invocation. Okay, so we got the error class does not implement appropriate handler interface. Yeah, so guys, uh, if you're not implementing a request handler, you have to pass the method name also. So I'll go to my Lambda function class here and just copy the method name here. And in my infra stack, if you see here the handler I have specified the package name then my class name and if you implement request handler then you don't need to pass the method name but I'm not doing that right so I have to pass the method name explicitly okay yeah so this will fix my problem here now what I can do is I, I can just rebuild my functions module so that we have a fresh function.jar here 
then we can go to infra module and to do the cdk deploy i know this process is manual we can create a sh file at the end of this video to automate this let's just first go to the functions module so i'll go to i'll go one step back go to functions and call mvn clean package yeah it's done now i'll go to infra and call cdk deploy you can also verify the changes by calling cdk diff but i will not do that i'll just go and deploy the changes and let's see what happens let's go to the console now yeah let's go to this log stream now and you can see the lambda invocation time is this so our lambda is successfully completed now let's just watch for the invocation time so this should be every one minute so let me just search for this particular line yeah you can see the first invocation is 2311 and then 2312 so every minute this will print this statement lambda is invoked because event bridge is running at the rate of every one minute so let's just see a couple of more here and you can see that we have these four invocations each after one minute so this is it from the current video i hope you like this video and if you liked it please subscribe my channel thanks for watching bye